Okay, Yeladim, I just beamed each of you the Shabbat candle lighting times for your zones. Boys and girls, now please bring up your virtual Aleph Champ holographic files and we'll begin Hebrew 2.0. Mora, do we actually have to open the files? Can you just transfer and sync the lesson directly into us? Mora, I missed my ride and had to print out an arrow car on my 4D printer to fly over to Hebrew school today. I don't have any charge left for the Olive Champ file. Yeah, my after school simulated ball tournament and my AI piano robotics performance is totally consuming my active memory juice. Can we just skip Hebrew 2.0 today? Yeladim, I know how busy and distracting life is for all of you. But no matter what is going on, I want you to always remember what's really important. You know what? Before we begin class, let me tell you a story. This true story takes us back half a century ago. I know this story, boys and girls, because I was there. Fifty years ago, when I was a little girl, I lived with my family on a planet called Earth. I had just come home from a big perm party and was counting down the days until our big family trip to Disney World for spring break. Then, it happened. Breaking news tonight, the largest school district in America, New York City, now shutting down. The states of California, Ohio, and Illinois announcing... The planet began to shut down. A teeny tiny invisible little bug started traveling all across the planet, making people very sick. So they started closing down the whole planet and everyone locked themselves in their homes. Can you imagine that? No one played sports. No one went to school. All the roads, the parks, and the streets were empty. All my soccer competitions, my gymnastics team, and my music recitals were canceled. And we never got to go to Disney World that spring break trip. My parents were so scared the bug would get on my grandma and didn't let me kiss, touch, or even come close to her. That little microscopic bug managed to stop every part of our life on planet Earth. But there was something, boys and girls, something that the bug didn't stop. It didn't stop us from being proud Jews by learning Torah and performing mitzvahs. We still ate matzah and had our Seder on Passover that year. We still celebrated Shabbat and lit the candles in our home each week. We still prayed in our home and ate kosher food. And most importantly, we still learned Torah in Hebrew school. You see, boys and girls, Judaism isn't just something fun we celebrate and do. It's who we are. And even that terrible bug couldn't stop us from being who we are. More than 3,000 years ago, we received the Torah from Hashem at Mount Sinai. And from that day on, we've held the Torah and its mitzvahs so close to our hearts. Never ever, not even once, in all these 3,000 years, have we stopped learning Torah. There have been many difficult times in our history, and we have had to give up lots of things. But no matter what happened around us, we kept on being proud Jews by learning the Torah and doing its mitzvah. So, dear boys and girls, as we are about to start today's Hebrew school class, I want to give you each a personal blessing. May you, boys and girls, continue being dedicated to the Torah 
I become the strongest link in our glorious chain of Jewish history. Am Yisrael Chai.